Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. Thank you for being here. I don't know how the angle is. I was kind of setting up the shot a little bit, but you know what? Forget about the angle. Forget about everything in the video except for the fact that Burger King has a new item out. So there you have it. Just forget everything else. But we have ourselves a Whopper melt. Yeah, Burger King, I feel like I was just reviewing them, and uh, I guess, well, I guess quite frankly, I was just reviewing them. But maybe this will be a little bit of a, a shot of redemption. Who knows? I'm hoping, anyway, that this is going to be a good item, but I mean, who even knows at this point? Lately, it's just been one bad thing after the next, after the next, and uh, I just want something that's actually edible. That would be nice. And maybe this will be. Who's to say? Burger King is releasing the new Whopper Melt. They released this last week. I finally got my hands on it. And here's what it is. It's available in three varieties. And you might be saying, like, a, a Whopper Melt, right? A name like that is incredibly confusing. There isn't all that much that you could necessarily uh, discern from such a thing. You might be thinking, melt, you know, is it molten? What is it? So here's what it is. It has, it has two slices of toast. On the toast is a quarter pound of flame-grilled beef. Of course, their iconic flame-grilled beef. American cheese, caramelized onions, and sauce. They don't say what type of sauce, just sauce. So there you have it. You could also get this in two different varieties. I got the regular Whopper Melt because that seems to be the one that they're really promoting, that they're really advertising, so that's the one that I got. However, you could also get a spicy Whopper Melt, which is pretty much the same thing, just with spicy sauce. And you could also get a Whopper Melt with bacon. Price again is $7 for the sandwich. Burger King. There it is. Comes with, looks like some Whopper Melt. Insignia. Let's open this up. I feel like this is kind of a recurring trend. You know, I'm not even going to really talk about it that much. I always feel like the picture always makes it seem way bigger than what it really is. I look at this and it, I don't know, it's just the picture makes it seem bigger. But you know what? I'm not really going to get on them that much for it this time around. There you have it. The Whopper melt. You could see that's the toast we were talking about. It doesn't have much of a, uh, a crisp to it. It's, it's kind of, it feels more, you know, very soft and kind of doughy. Um, I don't know if it was intended to be crispy or not, but that's just what I'm noticing. You can see the patties, the cheese, uh, some of the onion right there. And I presume, if I were to debun it, indeed, there's some more onion and sauce. So there's a good view of it right there. Very heavy on the onion, I will say that. There's, there's tons of onions right there, even more right there. So that's what we have. The Whopper Melt from Burger King. And uh, that's it. Let's just try it. I, like I said, I think I'm just going to do a straightforward review today. So the Whopper Melt, you know what it is. You know what's on it. I know what's on it. We all know what's on it. Whopper Melt going in.
One more bite. Cross section for reference. You know, one of my neighbors used to be a caramelized onion, actually. And I remember one day, you know, I went over to the beach. And uh, if you've ever seen a caramelized onion swim, I mean, you know, it just wouldn't really go over well. And, uh, that's why I say one of my neighbors was, you know, used to be, but, um, you know, it happens. That's why caramelized onions, that's why they don't usually go to the beach. It just doesn't work. If it's not, it's the seagulls, you know. The Whopper Melt, you know, it's one of those items where it has good qualities, and it has, uh, something that I think it could improve upon a little bit, but... By and large, I will just say outright, I, I wouldn't say I hate the item at all. It's just not for everyone, but it's not bad either. So that's just something to uh, take into account. Here's, here's the main takeaway from this. All right. You're going to notice immediately, at least the one that I got anyway, that... The toast is doughy. It's doughy and it's chewy. It's chewier than a standard Burger King um, bun. So just bear that in mind. You're gonna have just a little bit more. It, it's just doughy and chewy. It's not the one that I got anyway. It wasn't crispy and people might be anticipating that, um, but that crunch was not to be found. Now, as for the general flavors of the burger itself, uh, I can't really complain. The American cheese is fine. It actually does a, a nice job tying everything together. The beef patties are, you know, they're pretty thick. Um, all things considered, you get a good amount in every single bite. Uh, the meat is pretty tender. And uh, I wouldn't say that it's, it's lacking in flavor. It's what you would expect from Burger King. It's your standard Burger King um, burger. So that's, you know, that's the big takeaway there. There's no real surprises at this point. Uh, in terms of the meat itself. It tastes like what you would expect it to taste. Pretty average, but not bad overall. Uh, so no huge issues uh, there to speak of. The sauce in and of itself reminds me largely of the uh, the stacker sauce, the sauce that you saw on their infamous... Um, was it called the stacker sauce? It was what was on the Big King, the last uh, Burger King item that I tried. Anyway, it's a similar sauce to that. has a tiny bit of tang to it, but, um, by and large, the sauce is just there. Again, it's nice. It adds a little bit of moisture to the sandwich, uh, but it doesn't contribute too much in the way of flavor. So here's the thing that I think some people will like more than others. Uh, if you like onion, and you just love them onions, as they say, again, if you are friends with caramelized onions, I guess that'd be kind of weird, though, if you would want to eat them, but you're friends with them at the same time. That would be a bit strange. Um, let's just say you really like onions, and you enjoy it when they're integrated into every part of your life. Uh, be that you bathe in the onions, you know, you squeeze the onion juices into your hair and massage your scalp with them, right? You bring them along when you're doing your taxes and all that good stuff, right? If you want to be one with the onions, uh, and maybe you want to strengthen uh, the onion-human relations, then this may be the sandwich for you if you really like onions, because my goodness, there are a lot of them. Um, and onions, as we know, can be quite potent. Uh, they're certainly... The, th the thing with onions and me is that they're not bad, but I just don't like it when they're too excessive. Uh, and this is a sandwich where I would say that the helping of onions is a bit more than I would personally like because there are so many of them. Again, you could see on the top bun right here, and they kind of blend in, but you know, you could see all that right there. Those are all onions. And then right here, 
Those are all onions too. So there's tons. And I would say this sandwich kind of would only need the amount that's on one of those buns. Um, because again, they're not bad. They, they certainly, it all works. Nothing tastes, nothing clashes. But I just think that it's too heavy on the onions. Cause like I was saying, onions can be very potent. And it's just a very strong sandwich otherwise. Now again, some people are gonna love it though. And if you like onions, you're gonna like this sandwich because there are lots of them. So just bear that in mind. If you're maybe sensitive to onions or you don't really like the way that they taste, etc., this has a lot of onions on it. And some people are gonna like it, some people aren't. For me, it's just a bit much. Um, but by and large, it's not really that bad. I would just, if I were to get this another time, I'd probably get this either light on the onions or no onions. That's just my personal um, opinion. But I know people will disagree with that, which is why I kind of clarify. I just think it's a bit heavy on the onions for my liking. It's, it's like it's too much of a good thing. You know, it works, but then it just goes a little overboard. But I think some people will disagree and they'll say, ah, it tastes great, you know? So that's just the one thing that I wanted to mention. But otherwise, it's pretty standard. Um, nothing incredibly special about this, but at least it's an item on their menu that just doesn't taste terrible. Everything works. It might be a little heavy on the onions for some, but it's all right otherwise. It is a little pricey, though, for what it is, $7 for that. Again, it's just the way things are. There's going to be a day, probably, where it's going to be 14 bucks, and that's going to seem like a real steal. Um, so at this point in time, you just have to accept the price for what it is and say this is just the way it is now. It's a $7 sandwich. And uh, like it or not, that's what you got to pay. So bear that in mind. That said, out of 10, the Whopper Melt, not too bad. Uh, not something that I would necessarily give rave reviews, but I certainly haven't many complaints about it either, aside from the onions. So, therefore, out of 10, uh, I'm going to give it a 6.6 .6 out of 10. You know, the onions detract from it a little bit, but I'm still all right with it, and uh, I imagine most people would be too. All right, on one final note, I'm not sure how many people this would really apply to, um, but if you listen to my radio show... Uh, there is a little bit of a schedule change. This took effect on Sunday, but I do my radio show four times a week, every week, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening. And uh, it is now heard on a new time. So if you have a shortwave radio, uh, tune in on 5850 kilohertz at the time of 10 p.m. Eastern now. So 10 p.m. Eastern, that's 9 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Pacific, again on 58.50 kilohertz shortwave, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening to hear my radio show. All right, just letting you know the schedule changed, and that's all that I have for you. Until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.